We started Anino Games because uh, just like a lot of you guys here who are parang starting their careers palang or starting their studios. Parang Anino Games when we started uh, 10 years ago, a decade ago na pala this year. Uh, we were a garage studio, you know. Parang hindi kami sa garage, para I mean yung garage kami. We're a small team, uh, 7 people, 7 full-time people. Uh, we did a game for 2 years that did not make money. It made money, pero nalugi siya. Yeah, we made yung Anita, it was the first Philippine game. Uh, a lot of guys here, si Luna contributed. <laughs> she was our story writer and story writer. Si Gabby, who gave a talk a while ago, he was our level designer uh, when we did that game. So, I know, um, just to tell you what it was like ano, at that time, we had no help. Kumbaga, kasi no one from our team had experience making games. As in, talagang fresh out of school. Parang, oh, paano ba gawin itong level na to? Parang, puro trial and error. Sampung beses namin inulit yung first level na ginawa namin. Tapos, nung time na yun, siguro yung internet, dial up, tapos parati pang nag-breakdown. So, hindi kami maka-research na maayos. Uh, wala kaming game engines at that time. Uh, we didn't have Unity. The game engines available back then were Renderware, hindi nyo na naalala yun. Quick, quick engine that cost like a million dollars nung time na yun. Wala kami pera to buy that million dollars. Siguro may torque pero pangit yung torque kaysa. Hindi na yung ginagawa. Tapos people had no idea what we were doing. Parang ano yan, game development. The first time we applied for a business permit. Parang, uy, gumagawa ko ng games. Oh, sige, manufacturer nilagay sa <laughs> categorization namin kasi nagmamanufacture na kami ng CD ng games. So next year we apply, ah, games! Sige, nilagay kami under, ano, internet cafe. <laughs> Game development daw. So, actually, the, at that time, there was only, I think, our company that, that was full-time into game development and another company. Uh, the guy who started IGBA actually, si Buddy Del Rosario, so most of you have never met him. Uh, wala na siya sa Pilipinas ngayon, di ba Paul?